is a research associate in the Department of Biomolecular Engineering at UC Santa Cruz and is the founder of Biota Institute. He's also with me and is now collaboratory as one of our founding members. But more tellingly, he recently shared with me that after witnessing Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon 50 years ago, young Bruce committed his life to dual missions in space and science. As a teenager, he decided the neatest problems to work on were the origin of life and devising a way for human civilization to expand into the solar system, both to give the biosphere a place to grow and to take human pressure off Earth. So, adult Bruce became co-developer with Dr. David Deemer, so Deemer, Deemer, <laughs> <laughs> of the first complete and testable hypothesis of the origin of life on Earth, which was featured on the cover of Scientific American a few years ago, and he became a co-designer of spacecraft architectures to open human access to the solar system. Bruce will be covering the detailed science and philosophy of this new discovery in his breakout later this morning, so please check your schedules. And please welcome my favorite Kryptonian, Dr. <laughs> Bruce Dammer. the earth, the moon, the sun, and the whole 360 degree panorama of the heavens. And that was the powerful, overwhelming experience. And suddenly I realized that the molecules of my body and the molecules of the spacecraft, the molecules in the body of my partners were prototyped and manufactured in some ancient generation of stars. And that was an overwhelming sense of oneness, of connectedness, of 